What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're going to go over some of the worst concept experiences ever. But before we get started really quick, I just want to say that you can now download The Dark EP digitally on iTunes, and it's also streaming on Spotify. So if you really like the EP and you want to support me digitally, you can download it right now. Links in the description. Also, I am working on The Light EP, which is the second EP that I'm going to be doing. It's coming together swimmingly. I'm really hoping to have it finished by November. It's going to be a little bit different than Dark EP. It's not quite as heavy, brutal screaming. It's going to have a lot more melodic guitar soloing, a lot more really kind of shreddy stuff. It's going to be really cool. Hopefully you guys really like it. Before we dive into it, this video is sponsored by Metal Amino, the Metalheads app. I do suggest that you check this out. Now, I don't do many sponsorship videos, and that's because I don't like doing sponsorship videos just to make money. I like doing stuff on things that I actually use, that I actually enjoy, or that I think you guys will actually really enjoy. This app I've had for a very long time. It's really, really awesome. It's basically like the Facebook of metal or like the Reddit of metal, if you will. There's a bunch of blogs, forums, posts, discussions that you can just post and you can talk to other metalheads about strictly metal. It's really cool, guys. I really suggest that you check it out. I'm on there. I have my own profile. You can go, you can talk to me. You can leave me a comment. You can go into my group chat. I've been on there actually since March of 2016. So 205 days I've been on this app. And I've talked to a lot of really cool people on there. I met some pretty cool fans and we discussed metal. Hence why it's called the Metal Amino app. There are links in the description below that you can click on to go to my profile and follow me. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get on with the video. A shirtless fat dude fell on me at a Rise Against concert. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Oh, shit. My worst experience was at Reading Festival last year when my girlfriend, who was 16, started beating up a 20-year-old Metallica fan. I was terrified that we'd get sent out because we were right at the front and security wasn't happy one bit. But, like... What happened? You just stopped right there? Like, did you... What's the conclusion? I want to know. Did you get kicked out? I mean, your girlfriend sounds pretty hardcore. Worst concert experience. When your friends bring their non-metal girlfriends, fiancés, wives along. Total buzzkill. List of things always bound to happen. Oh, boy. They hang in the back and do nothing all night. They shove their way up front to the barrier and don't move an inch, denying true fans the perfect view. Spend all their time and attention bodyguarding their girlfriend from moshers. Start a fight with any guy that gropes their girlfriend, even if it was an accident. They leave early because she's not having fun. Doesn't even show up at all because she convinced him not to go. Wow. <laughs> I think you have a little bit of pent-up aggression towards <laughs> this subject. Worst concert experience. Getting kicked in the back of the head by a girl in the balcony because I booed Hinder. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take one for the team, man. If it was me, I would have done the same thing. There was a baby literally crying and talking in my ear through half of it. It was a classical concert where the baby didn't know what the heck was going on and didn't care. I hope it was your baby. The fact that it was a classical concert, I mean, does the baby, does that make the difference? Like, it was classical concert, the baby didn't know what was going on, but if it was a metal concert, the baby would have been like, hell yeah. Short, larger, bald girl threw an elbow because me and my brother were having fun jumping around. I'm sorry, but you don't get peace and quiet standing at the front of a rock show. Short, larger, bald girl. One time my dad got drunk backstage at a Queensryche show and I had to drive back to the hotel, which we couldn't find. I like how you're the grown up in that situation. You're just like, dad, 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 can you come on, dad? Like your dad's just back there like, woo! A girl standing and squashed right next to me, who had clearly drunk way too much, decided to squat down and then proceeded to take a piss on the floor. I didn't notice until a bit managed to catch me on the leg. Yo, piss is sterile, man. She probably cleaned your shit from all the sweat of all the bodies around you. She all like, I'm gonna clean your leg, boy. And she like was like, Psst. She's doing you a favor. That's that's best concert experience. I got peed on. The first concert I ever went to, I went with my girlfriend at the time and we accidentally gave each other concussions. I feel like a lot of these have to do with going to a concert with your significant other. Maybe you guys should like go and get ice cream instead or something like that instead of going to a concert and getting concussions or just be smarter with your head. Crowd surfing. <laughs> Crowd surfing fat people. If you are really gravity friendly, stay down. Gravity friendly. That's the, that is like the most politically correct term for fat people. Standing in the back because my dad was hugging me from behind. He doesn't like metal. 
let's move on. I went with my boyfriend to a concert, got sick after 30 minutes of the show, had been drinking. Turns, y'all need to work on your English. I went with my boyfriend to a concert, got sick after 30 minutes of the show, had been drinking. Turns out I was pregnant. Now my baby turns the ABC song and any other nursery rhyme song he sings into a metal song. That's a win. How was that the worst call? Dude, some fat chick grabbed my junk in a circle pit. I mean, how is that a bad thing? Really, like, my worst concert experience would be when th this late 20 year old decided to crowd surf to a five finger death punch with her tampon hanging out. I've never wanted to wash my hands so bad before in my life. Now see what you should have done is you should have been like, like you should have just like reached up and just like, like getting a cup of vomit thrown at me while simultaneously, simultaneously getting dick punched at a Megadeth concert was not only my worst concert experience, but also my worst life experience. So it was like someone ran up to you like, ah, vomit. <laughs> But you in the dick and then just like take off. I got bit at a Seven Dust concert while trying to catch a drumstick. Had to go get a series of shots for the next week. But like, what bit you? I mean, was it a person? Was it a rabid raccoon? Was it the drummer? Me and my girlfriend were in a circle pit holding hands and we fell. Aww, that sounds romantic. In the arms of... My worst concert experience was seeing the Wonder Years with my girlfriend because she broke up with me immediately after the show ended. Well, apparently she didn't like Wonder Years. My worst experience at a concert is that I've never been to one, yet I've managed to get hit in the head and mouth while moshing by myself. What? What are you doing? I got sandwiched between two fat emo chicks in Attila's mosh pit. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, that's it for today, guys. All right, guys, real quick. I'm going to tell you a bad concert experience that I had. And it was back in 2010, 2011-ish. And my band at the time was opening for Summer Slaughter in Seattle. And it was a super dope show. It was the Whitechapel, Black Dolly Murder. There was Oceano. There was this Blood Runs Black. There was Flesh God Apocalypse. Within the ruins, so many rad bands and we were getting to open it but we had to sell a hundred tickets which sucks because they were like thirty dollar tickets and everyone that we asked were like nah man i already got my ticket online i i'm not gonna get the ticket because i already have it and it's cheaper online so we were already kind of screwed but we managed to sell i think 40 45 tickets and we get to the venue and we're like walking around we're trying to find the person who's like promoting it and in charge of it all and so we find him we give him the tickets and he gets pissed off because we only sold 45 instead of a hundred like he originally wanted so he's yelling and cussing and screaming at us and we're like a new band and we're like so excited to play this show and we're just sitting there like we're sorry uh like i don't know what to tell you everyone already had a ticket so he gets pissed off and leaves and then we're in a bad like we're, we just have like a bad vibe now and we're like we were super stoked to play this show and then this happened and it was just like really and so we get up on stage and the, the stage isn't very big and it's backlined by like 16 bands. And there, I'm not joking you, there's literally about a foot and a half that we have up front to stand and play because there are so many amps behind us. So we set up, the show starts in like 45 minutes and this dude comes walking back in and he's like, why the hell aren't you playing yet? You need to start playing right now. They didn't even open the doors yet and he's yelling at us to start playing. So we're like, dude, your sound guy has not even mic'd our cabs yet he hasn't even done a sound check and he's yelling and cussing at us when it's not our fault and then the sound guy is like trying to like get shit together because it was so clustered so we sound check and then 10 minutes before doors open and they're like you need to start playing right now and so we're like okay so we start playing to literally nobody our first like two songs were played to literally nobody and then like people start slowly trickling in and so we're like Hi guys, like, how's it going? How you doing? So much went wrong, like, the drummer's drum kit, like, was, was just not, it was like falling over. The guitarist, his mic, like, shocked him. We were so upset because we were so excited to play this show and then we got crapped on, basically. So as far as our performance goes, we literally played two songs to nobody and then three songs to like 30 people. And then by the time the first actual band started, there was like 600 people in there. And it's because they needed to start early. So that sucked. The show itself was actually so dope. All right, guys, leave a comment down below. Let me know what is the worst, weirdest, strangest, 
funniest, funniest thing you've ever heard somebody say to a metalhead or to yourself regarding metal, and I'll cover it in another video. Thank you so much. I'm working on some goofy comedy videos coming up soon, and hopefully you guys will like them. I'm getting back to the skits and the sketches and the play videos and the how-tos and the parodies and stuff. They're all coming back. So I'm very excited about that, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please share with your friends. And that's all, folks. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your constant support, and I will see you all in another video. Peace.